as I was saying. <sighs> hello. I don't say hello. There's something I want to tell you about. It's something else that's wrong with me. I think I've been getting a bit out of control in my hour. What's wrong, Bryce? I don't have anything to say for Okay. What's wrong? No. Okay. Of control. When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor? If you had an hour where everyone was frozen, go to a fairground? I would. Read a book. I have no idea. Uh, fairground? Fairground? Ha! <laughs> that was just an example, Doctor. I'm sure you can come up with more exciting things to do than that. Um, I would help people. I did think what good could I do other than catch up with work. I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched. So I gave her purse back and the crook. I placed him on a bus a few blocks away. I have no idea where it was going. She'd never really be able to thank me, so I took another picture. Oof, another picture? I took a picture after undressing her. I put her clothes back on before time resumed. To be honest, there wasn't much to take off and put on. Do you know what kind of girls walk around at midnight, Doctor? Oh, Bryce, 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 come on, dude. You shouldn't. Bryce asked what I would do if I had an extra hour, suggest things he might have done to gain his trust. Wonder if he's stolen anything, spied or anyone, helped anyone. Bryce, dude. Let's ask uh, Valentine's Day. So that we can open that up. Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. Okay. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. I have to say, I really like Bryce. Like, he is, he is, he is fucking things up. He, uh, he, like, he's clearly not well adjusted. But he seems earnest and he seems like sad and alone. I want to help him. I really do. Oh, um. Have you stolen anything? Yes, I would steal too. And I have stolen. I ran out of milk, so I thought I'd go to the local all night shop and get some more. I was absolutely intending to pay, but when I got there, everyone was frozen. I thought about leaving money on the counter, but that seemed weird. The cashier was waiting, <laughs> suddenly this money would have appeared from nowhere. But I've stolen bigger things. Okay, come on. Uh, come on. Yeah, 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 okay, that's fine. Uh, bigger things? From stealing milk, I moved on to petrol. From petrol, well, all those supermarkets have all kinds of electricals, so I've stolen quite a lot of that. I'm not proud. I think I've been doing it because I can. To prove to myself, either way, my extra hour is actually real. Is your extra hour real? Shit. Is it real? Sorry, Doctor, I dozed off there. Why are 
you tired? I don't know. Oh. Ah, Bryce, 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 Bryce. Um. What's the other thing he said? Uh. Spied on anyone? I would watch. I think I have to say spy. No. Spy? Well, that makes me feel a little better. There's a young mother, divorced, who lives opposite me. Jessica. She's friendly and says hello to me. Smiles. Oh, God. You're I've breaking my what fucking she heart, like. dude. Naked. So one hour, I broke into her house. She was standing in her bedroom. I took it as a sign. Oh, I God. took off her clothes and... And? I don't really know. Took off her clothes? Not something I... Jessica! I took photos of Jessica when she was naked. When I'd stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? Yes, Bryce. That's very wrong. I know. It's that bloody Dr. Decker. He made me this way. It's all his fault. You shouldn't blame other people. Like I said, I originally presented with depression, and everything was going well for a while. Then Dr. Decker changed. Okay. Changed? He was easily distracted during the sessions. Like, he wasn't listening. I'm pretty sure he wasn't listening half the time. I don't think he wanted to know about his patients anymore. But when he did give you advice. Advice? He told me to use my imagination to make something up, to think something crazy, and it would become real. He told me to think of a way to get more time. So I did. But he pushed me. He made me think it. Why don't you think the extra hour away? Yeah, okay. I took f naked. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. I slipped into I talking to Mariana for a second there. She was naked. Okay. When I'd stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. Took pictures. Sorry, Doc. Um, took pictures of Jessica. I can't delete them. I don't know why. I haven't shown them to anyone else. Do you want to see them, Doctor? No, I don't want to see them. No, no, of course you don't. It's just me. I'm the sick one. You need to delete the photos. I don't have any- But you need to delete those photos, mate. He was easily distracted. Ah, easily distracted I don't know easily distracted therapists are supposed to help you for whatever reason Dr. Decker had given up the desire to cure my mind and instead wanted to make me more unstable he told me to use my imagination to make something up to make something to up. think something crazy and it would become real. Think something crazy? Thinking I had an extra hour at the end of each day did become real for me, Doctor. 
Maybe Decker was a genie, and he could grant wishes. Maybe he wished himself dead. I don't know. Okay. We don't have anything else. When I first got the hour, I, w I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. Oh, there what we go. would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where... See, him asking what we would do is him hoping that we, like, would... Uh, we, we'd basically validate his fantasies of stealing and, you know, kind of interacting with people. Like, the, the whole naked thing is, is part, but the thing that's important that he said is that he lives alone. I live on my own. Occasionally I visit my father. He's in sheltered housing. Dementia. Your father. How is your father? Okay. Dementia. I don't really know about... Uh, well, uh, no, we can't go any further. When I there. first got the hour, I, w I was shocked, obviously. Uh, first got the hour. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, you were, were, were shocked. I might need a tip. No. Nope. A hint. Hint. Uh, do you know any more about Decker? I dug the grave for Dr. Decker. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Why do you think that is? His body wasn't there? Not so. <sighs> it didn't weigh enough? No. The coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. Decoy? I'm guessing he was buried somewhere else. Or cremated. Somebody, somewhere, didn't want his body going in the ground. Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? <sighs> I want to be... Cremated. That's a good choice, Doctor. Less work for me. Happy to help, mate. Happy to help. When I first got the right, right. Let's uh, let's just out of control. Let's keep that near the top. No, the coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. Something in it? I don't have anything to say. What do you think was in the coffin? I'm a bit of a professional at this grave filling business, Doctor. I know a decoy coffin when I handle one. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for hint. We've kind of run out of stuff. Um, can you see anything behind me? Why would I ask that? Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. I'm not sure. She doesn't normally say anything. All right, Bryce. All right. Can I get one more hint? Like, this is the thing is, I don't feel bad about using the hints a lot of the time. Because... There's some stuff, like, can you see anything behind me that's just like... Why would you ask that? I guess he's supposed to mention it, or, or something. But... I don't know. You know, it's not something... Uh... Wow, that's quite a long time. Let's see if when we I can... When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, shocked obviously. obviously. It took me a while to work... What did you do when you 
first got the out the hour. Sorry, Doctor, I dozed off there. Not a problem. Not a problem. One, two, three. Hint. Oh. Have you found any more relics? That wretched beard goes on 24-7. 25-7, if you ask me. Your patient, Nathan, caused quite a stir. Okay. He interrupted one of the female students all night, apparently. Made her miscategorize some findings going on about his dead girlfriend. It's amazing what you hear at the coffee machine. Well, I suppose that's a bonus. We're allowed to use their coffee machine while they're there. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Bryce said Nathan was with a female student. A uh, female student? I think... I have no idea. Okay. Uh, female student. Okay, I guess that's what he was talking about at Henley Church. I swear I got, I swear I got a reaction where it was like, huh? I don't think we're gonna be able to get any deeper with with Nathan. What we'll do, we'll move on to Lacey and Jasmine. Hello. I'm Lacey Hendricks. They don't know about me then. Okay. Uh. No. What? Where to start? My next door neighbour in Jobson Hill, where I live, she was murdered. 80, and they diverged and burgled her. Okay. But she was wise to it and started calling the police. They slit her throat with a bread knife. So I started a neighborhood watch. I know so many people like this. Um, na neighborhood watch. It was me and Agnes. Everyone else thought we were overreacting. But if they want their throats cut, that's up to them. Living in a bubble. But Agnes, poor Agnes. Okay. Agnes? She went missing, and still is. And that's what people think. But it's not the truth. Okay. What is the true truth? It killed them. It looks normal enough. A smartly dressed door-to-door -door saleswoman. I know because I heard my other neighbours shout at her. No Jehovah's. They think anyone knocking is a Jehovah. Okay. But she said she was selling double glazing. Selling double glazing. I don't know. I didn't answer the door. That's not too nowadays. But I watched her go to Agnes's. Or Agnes. Let her right into her house. Did you call the police? Have you been listening to me? Ask me something about my problem. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, I've asked her about Neighbourhood Watch. Okay, so... Your problem... That's not really a question I... You literally just aren't... Okay, look. Uh, poor Agnes. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, let him into her house. I could only see the silhouette. It turned from a person into a well... It looked like... I guess you'd call it a, a Medusa... Okay. Snakes for her face. And Agnes just fell to the floor. A few minutes later, the woman left, smiling like the cat that got the cream. That was the end of Agnes. Woman? Don't know. Uh, it 
was a woman? No, I can't really answer that. <sighs> okay. End of Agnes. I saw it with my own eyes. What more proof do I need? You're starting to sound like Dr. Decker. He didn't believe me either. Do you have any proof? I think that's going to be the end of Agnes. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, Dr. Decker. I didn't have much luck with him. Like I said, he didn't believe me. He thought I was having a, a, a hallucination caused by the stress of my neighbour being so brutally murdered. Where is Agnes, though? I haven't found her, have they? Have they? Have they found found Agnes? Right, yeah, yeah. Uh have you told the police about about Agnes Police murder? Sorry, I've not heard Yeah, no, no, no. You probably wouldn't have okay we're gonna figure this out give me a little bit um and we'll be right back